What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading. Have to decide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is flu fluid. If it doesn't apply to apply, everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading for Sana Aries. It's uh, Oracle card reading for mid May of 2022. Um, Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,590 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display um, how much, uh, not how much you donate, but your name if you decide to donate um, via PayPal. Just saying. Okay. I received a couple downloads. I'm going to deliver them for the sign of Aries. Um, Please do not force anything. Uh, I don't make anything fit that doesn't fit. So don't force anything if it doesn't fit. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. I just um, feel very guided to reiterate that. Okay? Okay. So um, the channel messages I received was um, for a sign of Aries. I heard was um, shocking revelations are about to be revealed at a very public forum soon it is about to embarrass an aries to no end um that was the first one um and the second one i heard an aries um position of high authority is about to learn of a very significant affair in their workplace soon it's about to make them make huge changes they never thought they were going to have to make but they are going to make them you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you aries holy moly so um at least one of you guys is a position of authority in a workplace i'll tell you that um because i heard for that one you are a position of authority you can be masculine or feminine oh by the way this can resonate if you have aries in any aspects of your charts a sun moon rising venus or the mini for jupiter charts just saying okay so for one your position of authority um because i heard you're about to learn of an affair soon uh in in your workplace uh, but i heard it's um going to make you make changes you never thought you were going to have to make but you are going to make them so some kind of affair energy i heard it's going to shock you um shocking revelation of an affair it sounds like it might be two co-workers having an affair i didn't hear specifically it was two co-workers i just feel it might be uh, because there's a reason you're about to make huge changes um I think you might shift people around or sh or shift shift people to different areas or something uh because of this affair um it was being hidden for very 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 strategic reasons you're about to realize this okay i heard it was being hidden for very very strategic reasons but you're about to realize this so you're about to realize this affair was being hidden for very strategic reasons but for some reason you're about to find it out and then I heard it's going to cause you, Aries, position of authority, Aries, to make huge changes you never thought you were going to make, but you are going to make them. So it sounds like they were hiding it from you for very strategic reasons, but it sounds like once you find it out, you're still going to make the changes. Um, but they were hiding it. Whoever, I, I feel it might be two co-workers having an affair, like a workplace, in-workplace affair, or, yeah, that's exactly what I think, two co-workers having an affair, or... Uh, one of your workers, because you're a position of authority, or one of your workers and somebody connected to ancillary staff coming into your workplace having an affair. However, that resonates, but at least one of your, I think, people, personnel underneath you is having this affair. I feel with somebody, ancillary staff coming in and out of the place or facility or location or site or unit or what have you, or to within. However, that resonates. But it's going to cause you to make changes um, you never thought you were going to make. How that resonates. That's for the position of authority, Aries, one. The second one, um, I heard um, a very public forum is about, it sounds like this very public forum, and the very public forum came up in Libra's reading as well, but a very public forum is about to take place soon. Um, I heard shocking revelations are going to be had at this very public forum i heard it's going to embarrass, embarrass the hell out of an aries so i think if this message resonates for you aries message two there um i think it's going to embarrass the hell out of you um because something 
shocking and reveal, very revealing at this public forum is about to be revealed. It could be on you or about a situation you're connected to or um, a situation you were a part of or people that you're connected to that was a part, that is a part of this or was a part of it or what have you. Um, however that resonates, but it's a very public forum. So I feel community energy. It's either very public in a corporate entity um, site or place or area or community wide, or it could be political activism. Um, it could be um, school energy, school, um, school, um, not school board, but uh, school district energy. Uh, but it's very public, meaning it, it, I feel like anybody that wants to attend can attend. And it sounds like um, many people are going to attend and they're going to be very vocal with what they want to say. Um, and it doesn't sound like it's going to be, it sounds like it's going to be embarrassing uh, for at least one of you guys, because I feel you might be connected to somebody that in this embarrassing energy, or it might embarrass you. Maybe you're directly connected, indirectly connected. I'm not sure. But however that plugs in in whatever Aries life. Okay. Spirit messages you have sent Aries. Twelve September. I'm gonna get one more. Spirit messages you have sent Aries. An Aries, a particular Aries, was very, very blinded to the fact that they were most certainly dealing with the Earth Angel. But they are about to get a huge wake-up call that they have been the whole time. One of these Aries might end up apologizing to this person soon. A feminine energy. They were told some horrific things about this person, but they're about to realize they were lies and that they were told to them for strategic reasons. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so for one of you guys, you're dealing with a feminine energy. Um, but it sounds like somebody has talked down talked this feminine energy. I heard she's an earth angel. So she's very high vibrational. Um, so vibrations are different than like money. It's how you treat people. Honesty, trust, respect, loyalty, morals, values, ethics, etc. Um, she's, so she's very high vibrational. She's an earth angel. But I heard uh, it sounds like behind the scenes or behind her back, Sounds like not just one person, many people have down talked her in a horrible negative way. Um, for some, I feel you could have believed them. Um, I do, I feel you believe them. Um, but because I, I think that's the only thing you had to go on at that point. But now you have been around her, I feel, or is about to be around her. And you realize that they basically they were lying. They were basically lying through their teeth. But I heard you're about to realize they're lying through their teeth for strategic reasons. So they were lying to you, I think, I didn't hear any of this, but I think to make themselves feel better or to make themselves look better or maybe to cover up this affair if the affair is connected in with you. Because um, there's an affair pulling in very strong in here that somebody was trying to keep from a position of high authority Aries. Um, however that resonates. But however that resonates, whether the affair resonates with that particular message or not, they were definitely they were definitely slandering. They were slandering her um, horribly behind her back to you is what it sounds like. Um, but I heard soon you're about to learn the real truth. Um, for some, you've already realized the real truth. For some, you're about to learn it. For some, you've already realized the real truth. For some, you're about to learn it. So for some, you're about to realize the real truth that she truly is an earth angel. She is very high vibrational. She's not going around 
talking and slandering and gossiping and talking negatively about these people. So why are these people doing it to her kind of thing? Um, how that resonates? Um, I heard it's going to cause you to make changes you never thought you were going to make. So some kind of changes you're going to make, it might be in your life. It might, maybe you have, maybe you, it's in a workplace situation. Maybe it's in a personal situation. Maybe it's in a family situation. But some kind of changes you're going to make in your life, Aries, regarding this feminine energy. Or for some, you're going to apologize to her. Um, some you're not. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for some, I feel you're going to want to heal it with her. You're going to want to heal it with her. And I heard you're going to apologize to her. Maybe you're going to tell, tell her what these people have been saying about her behind her back, possibly for some. I didn't hear any of that, but maybe I'm feeling that might be the case for some of you guys. For some, it might not be. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But, you know, that's terrible. That's terrible energy. It really, really is. That's all I have to say about that. That's terrible energy. Um, but when people do those kind of things, they do it for strategic reasons. They really, really do. They do it for strategic reasons. Um, they do. And it's sad, but it is what it is. Spirit messages here on Sign of Aries. By the way, you guys, it is a beautiful day here in Huntsville, Alabama on 5-14-2022. A beautiful day. I see so many people out in my neighborhood getting out and enjoying it. I'm about to get out myself. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Starfish Spirit, open to infinite possibilities. Otter Spirit, you are never alone. Let me get a couple of these oracle cards and then we'll get started if you think anyone else would uh, enjoy my channel you guys please feel free to share my channel very publicly and uh, social media wise on your word about um word of mouth or social media wise on um on your social media i very much appreciate it it helps get my channel out in a very positive way i'm a single mother of two kids so it really really helps um support a single mama of two kids income stream uh, i would very much appreciate it messages you have kind of Aries. A particular Aries is about to learn of a reader's channel soon. They are about to learn the real truth. Okay, I heard a particular Aries is about to learn of a reader's channel soon. They're about to learn the real truth. So you plug it in how it resonates in own life Aries. Uh, whoever you are, I feel you can be master of Aries. You're about to learn of a reader's channel. You're about to learn the real truth. So whoever's channel you're about to learn of, um, uh, it's a reader's channel. So it's a tarot card reader's channel. So it could be my channel, somebody else's channel, but somebody's channel, whoever it is and however it applies in your life, you're about to learn of this channel. And I heard you're about to learn the real truth. So the real truth about the reader is what I'm feeling, but you plug it in how it resonates. Playfulness, transformation. Number 59, 42, 15 or 8 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 59, 42, 15 or 8, these could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible ages of children of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day bird number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, 59, 42, 15 or 8. Uh, for some, you could be dealing with a water sign and an earth sign because you have water sign, earth sign, animal spirit, um, animals in here, energies in here. If you are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, and Jupiter charts, if that resonates for you. So we have the Starfish Spirit, the Otter Spirit, Wealth, September, Flowers, Playfulness, Transformation. Starfish Spirit, Open to Infinite Possibilities. A particular Aries is about to have a lot of opportunities soon. A lot of opportunities.
some renovations in your home. A good nest egg to renovate. For some, choosing locations to move. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So um, it sounds like one of you guys is planning on moving, I'll tell you that, um, and renovating a home. So lots of options to renovate your home. I heard a good nest egg. And for some of you guys, um, lots of, you're, it sounds like you're looking at locations to move. Um, I think look, move out of this home that you're going to renovate is what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. See, I'm a little different. I'm renovating my home while I'm living in it. But you know, everybody's different. Um, it sounds like you are going to move and then renovate your home for some. For some, you could stay in your home and renovate it like I'm doing. But um, you plug it in however that resonates. But open to infinite possibilities, I think, in the renovations because you have a good nest egg built up. For some, for some, um, you could renovate it while you live in it. For some, you could move out and renovate it. For some, um, locations and moving. So for at least one of you guys, you plan on moving. That's for sure. So... Um, I think you're open. I think you're looking at your infinite possibilities on your locations or where you want to move. Maybe you have children, maybe you don't, schools, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, cost of living, things to do, etc., 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 home values, that sort of thing. Um, um, uh, looking at areas for um, like um, people on the predatory list, if you have children. I would hope so, like pedophile list, um, that sort of thing. Because to me, all those things are important, but, you know, everybody's different. Of course, I have children, you know. Otter spirit, you are never alone. A particular single Aries feels very, very, very lonely. But through many shocking series of chain of events, they're about not to. About to make good friends with several people. True friends. In your, in your neighborhood, for some. For some in your community. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. That's beautiful. So for one of you guys, you're single. Single is a Pringle like me. You're single is a Pringle. Um, and I heard you feel lonely feel lonely, which, um, you know, some people feel lonely and some don't. I don't feel lonely. I like my peace and my quiet. I, I truly do. I like myself to myself. Um, everybody's different though, you know, and I don't judge people that feel lonely. I don't judge people that don't feel lonely. Um, everybody's different, you know, but, um, you feel lonely if this resonates for you. You're single as a Pringle. You feel lonely, but I heard soon, um, it's not going to be that way because basically you're going to make friends. I heard several, several of the, of them and they're true friends. So true loyal friends. They don't talk crap behind your back. Like these negative energies that have talked behind this, um, earth angel divine fems back basically, um, which is terrible. Um, but the true loyal ones, um, some in your neighborhood, some in your community. So you are not alone. You're about to have some um, true friend energy come in. For whoever that resonates with, I feel you might have just recently moved or maybe your friends have moved away. Um, however that resonates. However that resonates. For some, it could be earth signs or water signs you're about to run into with these true this true friend energy, possibly for some. For some, maybe not. If they are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or... Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, 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 Jupiter charts, if um, that is the case, possibly. Well, a particular Aries is about to learn of, a, of an inheritance. About to receive an inheritance soon. It's about to make them very happy. However, one of these Aries knows of an inheritance that was stolen from a feminine energy. It's about to make them feel so bad that they're about to call and report to authorities on the stolen inheritance because they know it wasn't right. 
Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, this is actually a good one too. So if this resonates for you, Aries, I heard you're about to receive an inheritance yourself. So um, congratulations to whoever this is for. Um, it could be property. It could be land. It could be physical money. It could be a combination of um, one or two plus of these things, however that resonates. But um, it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to happen soon. But I heard once this occurs, if this resonates for you, um, I heard it's going to make you very happy. And of course it would. Of course. I mean, who wouldn't be happy about an inheritance and having a little extra cushion? financially who in the world will not be happy about that you know um but i heard once this occurs um you know of the femme energy um that has had their inheritance stolen and i heard once you this uh, this comes in for you you're going to call authorities and report the uh, stolen inheritance from the feminine energy that was stolen from um so kudos to you if that resonates for you for doing the right thing so wealth in this aspect is an inheritance coming to you um congratulations to whoever that resonates for and one aries is going to behind the scenes put in a very good word for a leo feminine to a particular uh position they know they will be absolutely fantastic at it. Very, very, very good position. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, this is good too. So it sounds like you're going to, um, it sounds like in this aspect, you're going to uh, put a reference in basically, put a reference in to for a Leo Femme. They could have Leo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, Hame, or Jupiter charts. It sounds like you're about to do this behind the scenes. So it doesn't sound like you're going to tell anybody or many people, but um, I heard you know they would be great at the position and it's a wonderful position. So um, I think it will bring this Leo Femme in wealth um, and happiness um, um, in this position. And I think, you know, she's a good fit for it because I don't think any, you know, sane individual minded people would not, um, would not put their good reference out there for somebody they didn't think was a good uh, fit for the position. And that's just the truth. So, um, wealth in this aspect is you putting the reference out there for this Leo femme, um, whoever this Leo femme is in your life to bring her wealth and bring her abundance. So congratulations to whoever that's for, for doing that. I believe in paying it forward. Absolutely. I'll give you an example. I was in um, Hardy's parking lot the other day um, through the drive-thru in the morning after getting off work, getting me some breakfast. And um, you know how they have to pay it forward sometime? Uh, I used to work actually at Jack's after nursing school before I found my first nursing job at Jack's. And um, I worked drive-thru. Well, I did front counter, then they moved me to drive through because it's speedier and um, a lot of business. So I did drive through for a long time there. But anyways, um, a lot of people through the drive through would do pay it forwards where they would pay for the person in front of their, uh, in front of their, their meal. So when the person drove up, you would say the person in front of you paid for the meal. And then most people would pay for the person behind them and it would create a chain. So that's kind of what it reminds me of here, the pay it forward energy um, through the drive through That happened to me at Hardy's the other day, um, and I paid it forward to the person behind me. So you're paying it forward with a reference to this, um, for this Leo Feminine um, to gain, to help her gain wealth in this wonderful position. Whatever position it is and how it resonates, I feel she might work in the same um, company as you. Um, or not, maybe for some, maybe not, but I feel for some, she might work in the same company as you for some, she may not September. There's about to be a shocking custody change in an Aries life soon. And by September, there's about to be another shocking custody change. Both of these people are connected to you. 
Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Custody change energy. Shocking custody change energy, if that resonates for you. It doesn't sound like it's you in this situation. It sounds like it's somebody you're connected to. Uh, both of these situations sound like it's somebody you're connected to. You plug it in how it resonates. So the first one, I heard it's about to happen soon. Um, we're in May. It's May 14th of 2022 now. So I'm feeling May or June for the first one. Um, it's somebody you're connected to, masculine or feminine energy. It's an adult, um, some kind of custody change energy. Um, I, I feel that could go for them in a positive manner or against them in a positive manner. But that one's coming soon. I'm feeling May or June of 2022. That's situation one. Situation two, I heard another shocking custody change. Um, so I think both of these are going to be shocking to you in some shape, form, or fashion, um, either positively or negatively. Um, but I heard that one will happen by September of 2022. So this one I feel is going to happen like May to June of 2022. This one I think is a little further out. So I heard by September 2022. My goodness, we're in May. So maybe, I don't know, July, August, or September maybe. Uh, I feel further down the line for the second one. But custody change energy, not you, somebody you're connected to. Shocking. So however that resonates. And for one Aries, a pedophile ring that was closely connected to you, one you you called in to authorities and provided information, one you did not, it's going to be broken up. It is going to shock the hell out of you. Within the next couple months. Oh my God. Wow. One, you are the authorities are going to help break it up. Holy crap. Whoa. Holy crap. Whoa. So you plug it in. Help. Well, that's great, Aries. <laughs> For the authorities about to help break it up. <laughs> that's great. Um, okay, so there's at least two Aries in the universe that knows about pedophile rings. I'll tell you that. One of you guys, or it sounds like you already took action in the universe and you call the authorities, I heard. So you called the authorities and provided information on the pedophile ring. But it's, I think it's people that run this pedophile ring that are connected to you, closely connected to you in some shape, form, or fashion. But when both of you guys know this information or some of this information on these people connected to you that run this pedophile ring or a part of it or what have you. One of you guys has provided information to the authorities already on it. One you have not. But, um... And one, you are the authorities. So I feel there's actually three of you guys connected to this. One, you are the authorities going to help break it up, I heard. So, um, but I heard it's going to be broken up soon within the next couple of months. But I think you, Aries, um, authority energy over here, I feel local police, state police, or feds, however that resonates for you, third Aries over here, you're going to help break it up. Kudos to you. Just saying, just saying. I love it. Um but it's going to shock the hell out of these two areas. One provided information on it. One did not. But they know people connected to it, purveyors of it, or people that run it, or what have you. But this area is going to help break it up. I feel it's at least three of my subbies. Just saying, just saying. Wow. Heard within the next couple months. Well, we're May. June, July. So June, um, June to the July, I'm presuming. Um, definitely by September. For sure, for sure. Because that's like June to July energy of 2022 but you aries over here authority energy you're gonna help break it up what oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah it's your birthday do it anyway just saying just saying oh yeah let me see if i hear anything else A feminine energy connected to you after significant custody changes occur and custody battle energy is over is going to put for some one child, for some two, two or two plus children in private school. It's going to shock you. It will be next school year. Okay, so September is the next school year for this, um, this energy, if this resonates for you. So for some of you guys, um, I feel it's at least three people you're connected to. Um, a lot of custody battle, custody change energy in here. Um, for one of these situations, it sounds like a femme energy is going to gain custody of children, child or children, however that resonates. 
um, full custody is what it sounds like. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, it sounds like she might be in a custody battle right now. But how that resonates, I heard it's going to shock you. For some of them, they're going to put one child in a private school. For some, two. For some, two plus children in private school. So I feel it's at least three situations. Custody battle energy. Um, but I, I heard it's after they win full custody. Uh, so they haven't won, won full custody yet. But they're going to put um, their children in either one child two children or two plus children in private school once they do win full custody. So it sounds like they truly care about their child or children. They want what's best for them. And it sounds like this private school is at least the right option for at least one of their children. For some, they could have one child. For some, two plus children. But September is the school energy because school usually goes back into session August or September. Um, so I'm feeling school energy, September school energy. Uh, next school year. So that would be next school year. Wow, that's that's cool. It's somebody you're connected to. It's not you, um, if that resonates. Maybe for some, you're considering putting your child or children in private school. Her is going to shock you that she's going to make this decision to do it. So maybe you didn't think she was considering private school for maybe one of her child or, um, or two plus of her children, but it sounds like um, she she is, if that resonates. Flowers, or she is going to. Flowers, happiness. And Aries is about to learn, feminine Aries is about to learn some serious, 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 serious truth. Hidden truth. It is about to enlighten them in a huge, huge, huge way. They are going to heal things with some with one person, some with two plus people. Taking action to do this. It's going to bring them much happiness. This is actually pretty freaking good, Aries. I mean, I just want to say, some of my Aries readings are very heavy. They're very, very, very heavy sometimes in Aries. They just are um, for some reason. But this one is pretty good. I mean, this round. And I'm serious. So you plug it in how it resonates. So you're about to learn some serious truth. You can be master of him. Aries, you plug it in how it resonates. Some serious, serious, serious truth. For someone, one person, for someone, two plus people. But it sounds like it's been strategically hidden from you for reason or reasons. Uh, it could be the one where they were slandering this divine feminine's name into the bud uh, for strategic reasons around you. It could be that person. It could be somebody else. But however that resonates, for some it's one person, for some it's two plus people. But I heard once you learn the real, real, real truth, and it sounds like um, after you learn it, you're going to take some great action. I heard you worry. You want to take some great action. I heard you're going to want to heal it with this one person for some, for some two plus people. So it sounds like you, somebody ran somebody's name into the mud intentionally for you to think badly of them is exactly what it sounds like here. There's a lot of that in here, but you're about to, but you're also about to learn the truth too, which is good for you. It's about to promote healing and happiness for you because I heard you're about to go heal it with this person for some one person, for some two plus people, and it's going to make you happy. And I think it's going to make this person or people happy that you took desire, drive, and motivation to go and say, hey, this is what I heard about you from blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. But I know it's not true. I wanted to come to you face to face and just talk about it like adults and air it out. And I think it's going to make you happy and them happy and you'll be able to heal it with this person and move on. So happiness energy there in that aspect. And that's the way it should be as adults. Um, you know, having the correct mental facets to sit there and be able to have a conversation with this with person or people and, and air it out and say, hey, blah, 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 told me, blah, blah, blah. But I, I know it's not true. I know it's not, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I just want to come and say, hey, I know it's not true. You know, yazzy, yazzy, yazzy. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Some people find offense to that because they think it's too confrontational. But I don't think it is because it it promotes open door policy there. You know, if somebody feels you're hiding something from them, I mean, it doesn't really promote motivation to go towards them because you, 
who's if you're hiding something from somebody, who's to say you're going to hide it from somebody else? You know what I'm saying? I'm not that kind of person. I'm a very open door policy kind of person. But some people take offense is what I'm trying to say. But it's usually the people that take offense to that or the people that down talk and slander everybody's name because of the friggin' mud for strategic reasons too. Um, and that's just the truth. Okay, so it's going to make you happy. For some, it's one person. For some, it's two plus people. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay. A child is about to pick out balloons soon. It's about to be a very fun time. <laughs> That's a great one. Oh my God, I heard a child's about to pick out balloons soon. It's about to be a very fun time. Let me tell you, when I'm with my kids picking out balloons, it's always a fun time. Always. I don't I don't care how old they get. Mine are teenagers now. It don't matter how old they get. It's always a fun time, I'm just saying. Uh, it just makes me happy delivering that one. <laughs> Playfulness. St. Jude's Hospital is about to become very significant in one Aries life. But it will be a positive experience. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard um, St. Jude's Hospital is going to become very significant in one Aries life. But it will be a positive experience. So playfulness in this aspect is, I think, um, I mean, for anybody who doesn't know, St. Jude's is um, a children's hospital for cancer. Um, and um, But I think it's going to be, you know, even though it's a children's hospital for cancer, they make it very fun um, to kind of divert the children's mind away from um, all the negativity, i.e. the cancer and the treatments and, you know, radiation and chemo and all the meds and hair loss and things like that. So they make it strategically fun there. Um, so the adults can kind of take a load off too while they're there and the kids don't have to think about it so much while they're there. So I heard it's gonna be a very, very fun experience. So um, playfulness, I think it's gonna be, um, I think they're gonna have, it's gonna be fun in some aspect. How I know sometimes they have like, um, Famous people come to St. Jude's um, and visit and they have, um, sometimes they have like magicians that come and uh, uh, they have like uh, events there for the patients and the families. So I think it's something like that. Um, playfulness at St. Jude's in a very fun, positive, copacetic manner. A new ball team is going to be very significant for an Aries soon. For some, your ball team. For some, a child's ball team. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard um, a ball team is about to become very significant for a particular Aries. For some, it's your ball team. For some, it's a child's ball team. So it could be your child's ball team or somebody, uh, a child you're connected to's ball team. But I think it's going to be a lot of playfulness. I love ball team energy. I love it when I took my kids to ball, ball games and tournaments. And even though the tournaments were so expensive, I did not mind every, every dime I spent. Every dime, let me tell you. Because it was traveling with my kids on the weekends to ball tournaments was one of the most fun things I've ever done in my life. Even though I was exhausted. And I'll just tell you the story. And we're 39 minutes in. We One night we were driving back from a tournament. It was like Saturday night and it was like 1 a.m. and I was so exhausted. My daughter was in the front seat talking to me to keep me up, but I wanted to get home because it was so, my son was passed out in the back seat. I wanted to get his home safely. So she was just talking to me to keep me up, but I had to be so bad. And I was like 10 minutes away from the house and I didn't want to stop to use the bathroom because I want to get his home. I ended up peeing in my pants. <laughs> True story. And I mean, not a lot, just a little bit <laughs> in my pants to get his home because I want to get his home. I didn't want to have to stop waking my son and all that. So <laughs> true story. So 
But I will never forget that. I will never forget that. But it was one of the, some of the most fun times of my life, man. My kids' ball tour tournaments. Uh, going to game after game after game. Getting sunburned weekend after weekend after weekend. Eating chili dogs and then having to eat salads the rest of the week. I mean, it was some of the most fun times ever. So, I mean, I think one of you guys is about to have some of the most fun times ever. Whether it's with your children. I don't know if it's rec ball. I don't know if it's tournaments. I don't know if it's... um um. Uh, I'm trying to think, sorry. <laughs> if it's um, rec ball league or if it's um, travel ball or what have you, travel ball is what I was trying to say, um, or what have you with all the tourney after tourney after tourney. But however that resonates, I think you're going to have a lot of fun, um, whether you're physically on the team or somebody you're connected to. Um, and in particular, Aries is about to invite a fire sign feminine to be a part of a ball team, adult ball team. Okay, wow, and I heard a particular Aries is about to invite a fire sign feminine about, about um, to be a part of a um, adult ball team. You know she loves this shit, and you're right. Oh my god, I heard you know she loves this shit, and, she's, and you're right. So whoever this fire sign femme is, she could have Aries Leo Sag, Aries, another fire sign femme. Uh, she have Aries Leo Sag in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Femme, Hammer, Jupiter charts. I heard you know she loves this shit, and you're right. So it's some Aries Leo Sag adult femme. I think she loves to play ball. Whatever kind of ball. I didn't hear what kind of ball it was. I feel like it could be softball, volleyball, base. Oh, well, I ain't going to be baseball. I mean, well, I don't know. You can be femme. You can be masculine. I don't know. It could be, um, but she's a femme, so she could be baseball. It would have to be co-ed. Just saying, just saying. Um, softball, volleyball. Um, basketball, some kind of ball. I heard you know she loves this shit. So you're about to invite her to be a part of a ball team. Playfulness, ball team, adult ball team energy there. Transformation. A particular Aries leadership skills are about to completely transform. Completely. It's about to be very beneficial for you. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Aries um, leadership skills are about to completely transform. It's about to be completely beneficial for you. So in this aspect, you're about to transform your leadership skills. Um However, you're going to transform form, ah, transform them. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Um, you, sounds like you're going to internally transform your leadership skills to maximize and benefit yourself and your team or, or your leadership honing abilities or what have you. I don't know if you're a position of high authority. I don't know if you are a coach. I don't know if you are a um leader in the community in some shape form or fashion for some you could be the um authority um authorities over here about to catch this pedophile ring i mean i'm not sure but um you are about to internally transform yourself to maximize your leadership skills in a positive hope state manner whatever and however that applies whether it's an employment situation, not an employment situation, a community situation, a ball team situation, a group effort situation, political activism situation. I'm not sure. You plug it in how it resonates. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right. Well, pretty good one, Aries. Just saying, just saying. Love you guys so much. Hope everybody has a wonderful day and namaste.